Hello there and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Now I believe that that is a game that does not need any introductions. It's been, um, I think I mentioned it quite a few times both on Discord and on YouTube as well. Just uh, preaching praises of, of this game. It's a gem. I, I love it. Before we get into the game, um, uh, we are going to go with the Spaced Out expansion. And there are a couple of quality of life mods installed. So we've got the mod manager blueprints fixed in case there are some specific designs that I want to go with. Uh, pliers is a very handy one, better info cards, bigger camera zoom out, thermal tool tips, show building ranges. Uh, now with the duplicate uh, generation settings manager, we're just going to use it at the start of the game and then I will disable it. Automatic geyser calculation and no manual delivery for the auto sweepers. Alright, so that's the mods and let's start a new game. Uh, so we're going to go with the survival spaced out. And I think for the game settings, we're pretty much going to go with the default settings for all across the board. Uh, so let's uh, let's start it. And here's the duplicate overview, the three that we are going to start with. And we, of course, we could go through, set the priority on which kind of duplicant we want and then keep re-rolling them. But I've done a custom custom uh, setup, so we definitely want to go have a rancher. Because ranching is, in my opinion, the most difficult uh, skill point to level up. And then secondly, Frankie over here is going to be our builder slash digging dupe. Uh, he'll also love uh, suit wearing, so that's going to help with the athletics a little bit. And then the last but not least is Bubbles, who is going to be our main researcher who also loves suit wearing and rocketry and uh, now for the colony name uh, let's uh, see what we what we have the plucky friends is an interesting one supernova i think we've found uh, quite a nice one the rocky paradise i don't think it's gonna be quite the paradise but uh, that's what we'll go with and uh, yeah let's uh, get this started then and here arrive our three brave colonists got a quick alert but um, but yeah so let's have a quick look around uh, around ourselves as well. So we do have a bit of water here, so we definitely want to combine this pretty much straight away. And the first thing to do here is going to be to set the priorities. Researching for bubbles and then digging and then building for Frankie. But I think with uh, Rowan here, he could help us with building uh, at the start at least, because there isn't any ranching to do right now at least. Okay, so let's figure this out, because this water is a little bit lower. I think our central tank is most likely going to be somewhere there. Now, when it comes to how many natural plants do we have here? Okay, so we're definitely going to leave, I think, these ones in place if we can. And we'll figure this spacing out as well. Uh, so three, one, to door here three wide and then we're gonna go up and then i think right at the start we could also go into here all right queued up a few uh, digging commands let's just get rid of those notifications and speed up the time a little bit and our central uh, shaft is gonna be i guess somewhere here the first priority is going to be to get the outhouses and sleeping arrangements done. So for that, we are going to need the pitcher pump. And I think we should be able to place it somewhere somewhere here for the time being. Now for the toilets themselves, uh, let's see, medicine, we got the wash basin. Uh, so the doors were here, so let's put it, I guess, somewhere here should be fine. And then on the plumbing, we also have the outhouses too okay so we'll give this a quick priority as well probably want these bits done first and then all all of you guys as a temporary living arrangement i think we'll oh not over there but perhaps here is a good spot where we can do the cuts for our duplicates as well okay we'll speed it up a little bit further and we don't really need the tutorials couple of doors just to create this room in here okay great so we do have access now to the water uh, all we gotta do is get those toilets in place so that way they can relieve themselves once the uh, night time arrives okay so these are almost done at uh, level six how about we get these as the next priority and i'd very much like someone let's see awaiting delivery uh, let's deliver something into them 
uh, right away. Fill them up with water and dirt, so that way they can be operational. Are you bringing water? Yes, Bubbles is bringing water indeed, so that's great. Uh, we can assign those beds as well right away, and then as soon as they're done... Okay, toilets are ready. Let's get those doors in place so then we can have uh, the room benefits as well. So right now, this is barracks. That gives us morale plus one. But that being done, I think the next thing we'll do is let's start digging into, into here. And this is going to be our research. I want it to be relatively close to the water, so that way they don't have to run too far. I think with the top ones we'll lock them, bottom ones can stay open. Okay, so that should be a, should be a good start. Did we get the room benefits for the from the other one as well? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Okay, so let's get these uh, last ones built here and close them ones out. Great. So when we go to the research down, which is stations, you can probably go here. I think the big one will go next to it. Uh, do we have enough space here? Uh, well, let's see. We are gonna need... I think the big one was three wide. Then when we go on the power, the manual, a generator... Yep, you could go somewhere here. Ooh, it might not be wide enough for bigger batteries later, but... I guess we'll see. Let's get this in place as well, and then we'll measure out where we want to... Oh, actually, this is a little bit not perfect. Do you know what? We are going to replace. The picture bump is going to go here instead. And let's see. Yeah, we want this main tunnel or the shaft where duplicants are to be clear of water and everything. So, yeah, okay, so let's figure this out. We'll take you out and we'll also start deepening this section here. Okay, so you've done that, fantastic. Uh, next one thing we could also build in here is a bit of a dining room for them. Let's open up this area a little bit. And afterwards, we'll also expand towards that side. Great, and now please put in a couple of more floors in there. Oh. You're stuck. Okay. How about we get a ladder for you so you can hopefully not suffocate. Ooh, that was close. Ten minutes into the game and already already suffocating. Things are definitely going well. Now the... Uh, what should we do next? The outhouses are going to produce some polluted dirt, which we would like to take care of as soon as possible. Okay, let's give them a another ladder. I'm probably a slightly higher priority for all these construction projects there as well. Alright, now that we do have the research table in, let us see what we'd like to focus. So food is going to be the priority. Uh, let's go with these couple of guys there. And hopefully as soon as we get some power... Uh, yes, we are getting power now, so that's, that's good. Can we please also... Let's see. Yes, we could do... Ladders here for the time being. We'll give uh, the water a little bit more space as well. And then we're gonna have to start getting some more plants and more food. Oh, there is more water there. Probably tunnel out a way to bring this water into this main bit over here. Actually, I should probably do it straight away. Uh, maybe not through the toilets. Bedrooms also not ideal. Uh, it has to be higher, so maybe... Hmm, I think it might have to be through the toilets here. Uh, let's see, we'll um, queue up the ticking command, and let's see if we can drain this uh, drain this all out. Cycle 3 has started. Oxygen is going to be a problem soon, but I think we should be able to fix that once we get to a bit more algae. We've got a little bit right now, but that's not going to be enough so we'll definitely have to expand to dig out these sections there now what we'll also do is let's uh, keep expanding at the lower levels how tall is this okay so this here we can go another four down okay perfect and then we'll keep uh, de uh, deepening this tunnel here as well all right let's get this tunnel dug out for us and then we'll probably need to expand towards there but that's gonna be the next priority now bubbles is already researching away so hopefully we'll get to planting some of those plants very soon oh uh, actually there is a bit more oxygen there and plants that we'd very much like to like to harvest so let's enable everything that we can find around us and yeah okay so having a look at this there's a bit of carbon dioxide building up at the bottom of the base which is fine uh, soon enough, once we deepen this tunnel, we're gonna let everything drop down here. Uh, but for now, we do have to... Let's keep going this way. 
I would like to allow all this water to enter this giant bit here. All right, first research is done, which is great. We'll have to put down plants. Yeah, we'll have to figure out the water first. So the pool is expanding a little bit. We released all that water there as well. And I just remembered that I forgot to unsubscribe or disable the duplicate management tool uh, or the mod. So I've done that real quick. Quick restart. And now let's have a look what's what's in here. Okay, so we don't need that water. And we don't need uh, anyone with doctoring. Supplying digging could be handy. But he can't do any building errands, so that's not very good. So let's take this Nazi suit. Let's see, who can we give this to? I think, let's have a quick look at priorities. And Frankie, I think Frankie should be, should get this one. There we go. Uh, right, it's another evening, so we'll let the duplicants take a quick break. Let this water all flood down. And then hopefully expand it actually a tiny bit as well. And then hopefully tomorrow everything should be drained out from here. There's still a little bit, but that's just tiny amounts. Yeah, that should be fine. We just need to get rid of all this. So the pool seems to be pretty full already. What we are going to do is just close it up and mop up uh, the rest of the water around the, around the base here. I think we should be able to do pretty much everything now. And these two bits in here as well. Okay, fantastic. So... That is probably the height, so that's good. There's just a little bit left in here. Please clean up that as well. Now, it is going to be time to start uh, getting some plants. We definitely want to set up the farm, so let's uh, move over towards there. We'll grab these ones and set up a... I guess the farm could go maybe a little bit lower. For the next research, let's take a look. What can we do here? Power is here. Probably go with the better uh, research. So supercomputer is going to be next on our list. Now, Frankie, why have you not equipped this uh, suit in here? Uh, maybe he'll do it later. It's all right. Okay, there is still a little bit of water. I'd like you guys to please mop it all up if we can. Oh, okay. Let's do that first then. And then hopefully we can carry on with mopping all this mess up here. All right, so the next thing, what we'd like to do is, is to set up, uh, let's see, a bit of a dining area for our our tubes. And to make it a dining room, we go on the furniture. We have to place a water cooler as well, but we're most likely going to um, disable it. As, as long as we have it in the room, it should still give the morale bonuses to our, our colonist. But okay, other than that, we do have quite a few digging commands over, over the place that will open up as soon as we try and figure out how we want to approach this section in, in here. There's a lot of water that we'd like to drain out, but right now there isn't really enough space in here. So we'll have to see how we, how we go about it. But also be very careful not to flood everything that's below us. Oh, there's a natural gas geyser here. Okay, so that could be our early game power production needs. It just really depends what temperature. Ooh, 150. Okay, so that might be out of our reach right now. We we'll might have to just wall it in and figure, figure this out later. But at least we've also mopped up pretty much most of those things here. So yeah, next thing we'll do now is to start planting and uh, probably prepare for ranching as well. So we'll create a, the standard second uh, walkway in here. Yeah, I think on this side we're not going to go any lower. We'll use this as our main uh, shaft and hopefully we can go through all the way to the top, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now oxygen seems to be a bit of a problem. It's pretty thin out here. So there's a couple of things we can do. I think the first one will be to open up uh, this section to allow some of that oxygen to flow over. And secondly, these things here will be our priority. And when we go into priorities as well, life support. Probably want this to be the highest. Let's see who could be the next Rowan. We'll um, make this a little bit, bit of a higher priority for you. All right, can we have this built? This will be on six. So all we need to deliver now is water and some algae. And I think what we'll do with the uh, with oxygen, once we get enough polluted water, we'll set up a station, I suppose, somewhere down 
here where we'll use the polluted water to to create some oxygen for for our base okay printables are available again let's see what do we have in here got some muck root fertilizer which we don't really need then mima with farming and dieting iron cut germ resistant uh oh this one will be nice actually cosman building and operating but he's got noodle arms, so I think we're gonna go with Makrut uh, right now. Okay, research is done again. We do have access to the supercomputer. After this, uh, I'd like to rush the power or... No, let's go ranching next, because the sooner we set up the ranches, the better it's going to be in the long term. Oh, uh, of course we are gonna need another... Where is the stations? The supercomputer right over there so then we can get rid of those annoying notifications there next thing i do know that we need those plants planted pretty quickly there's a couple of things we're doing at the same time first we're expanding more towards here to um, set the foundation well drain the oxygen first and then once that is done is this raising now yes it is there's a little bit there a little bit there as well 12.3 kilograms okay so that probably is going to be our next priority if we can get down there, of course. Then through here, let's see. Got this side. Okay, so we can just open this up a little bit. Now, these are natural ones. Oh, this could be a great natural reserve. If we go up, but there's so much carbon dioxide there right now that I prefer not to not to open up is there any more oxygen somewhere that we could steal oh this is all polluted um maybe down here no so this pocket is going to be quite useful for us and i think we'll probably do uh let's see hmm maybe a couple more algae terrariums oh these are almost full as well so we'll probably would like to oh so many things to do at the start that are very important for the colony right here comes the extra oxygen for us okay we are on uh, cycle eight already we also have a mess hall now which is up there it gives us plus three in morale we are creating a bit of a what are they called the composting area in here for our toilets then next we are gonna need to start using this computer here and to do that bubbles is gonna get advanced research so Let's give it a hat as well. Fantastic. Get to work, everyone. Let's try and finish this off as much as we can. All right, just got to fill up those batteries. Composting. How many more uses do we have? Not many. I think it's only one and two in these ones. But that is okay. We also have set up uh, or queued up some planter boxes. And as soon as they... Hopefully after this one. As soon as they get around to this section here we'll have some food planted as well and we'll leave this uh, bit of space in here for for our ranching needs great so the first composting is now done let's give it a slightly higher priority let's see okay so rowan as soon as we get a delivery he will take care of all that and frankie over there is now starting to get our food production area ready as well Great, so we can finally start planting some mealwood. Let's do it in all of all of them once. And if I remember correctly, per duplicate we'd need at least six or seven plants. We'll probably have to expand it just a tiny bit towards there. And we'll do the same. We'll just extend it. Actually, you know what? We don't even need the floors. Let's uh, just keep putting those plant the boxes there. And with some of the wild plants around the area as well. I think these... This here should be enough for our... Uh, to start this colony out. Oh no, I think our duplicates got stuck here. And we don't want all this pee water to end up in the water tank. So let's try and clean up this mess as quick as we can. Ooh, that was, that was very close. Definitely gotta pay attention when we are constructing things as well. Because those duplicates, they are a little bit silly at times. I mean, it's obviously easier to blame them than ourselves of course is anyone emptying these toilets uh, almost it seems might give them a slightly higher priority just for the time being i'd like to put in a slightly better toilet facilities as soon as we can because we do have plenty of water we're just catching up with all the 
all the jumps that we have around the place in here and we definitely have to go dig deeper as well okay oxygen still very low so uh how far are we with the research nearly done then the next thing we'll construct we'd like to get some more tiles and i think the tiles where is gases right here it's so probably them ones or if we go into liquids actually are they in here found the tiles that we need and those are the mesh tiles so let's go with go with that one and then we'll start uh, setting up actually what do we just research okay grooming station all right so these are also great now we are gonna set up uh, some sort of uh what would you call it like um oxygen production area let's just call it that oh um all we've got to do is we've got to dig a little bit this way. Oh, that means we are going to have to increase, let's see, Frankie digging for you. And his morale isn't very high. Oh, that's probably because the last cycle they were sleeping. Not in their beds, but it should be uh, should be all good now. Another blueprint is ready. Do we need anything cooking? No, ranching and tidying. Uh, but he's uh, or she's anemic and loud sleeper, so no. Let's take a couple of seeds instead. Okay, so we finally got the research that we really, really wanted, and that's the deodorizers, which we shall place just over here, and then we will start dropping all that polluted water that's coming from the algae terrariums, and well, essentially going to convert it all into clean oxygen. Right now, we've got a whole bunch of polluted oxygen in here but those we will also have to connect up with power so that's exactly what we'll we'll do about here all right the next uh, resource here is going to be if we go into power section we're gonna need a slightly slightly bigger um battery to hold a bit more power in there but with that being constructed, that should be uh, should be pretty good for the for the start of our colony. And here we go. We've got the deodorizers in place now. All we gotta do is pour down some polluted water, which we can get from from these areas. I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? Uh, there could be some in there as well. And let's uh, let's take a look how this will work for us. All right, can we please drop some down here? Maybe a slightly higher priority. You know what? Max level it is. And the next thing we'll do is we'll mop it up. It's not gonna be the easiest thing at the start. Or, well, it is easy, but it's just a little bit annoying. But in the future, once we put it in a better better system, it will be a little bit more automated, let's say. Uh, but yeah, so all that's gonna happen if we bring up the gas overlay. We'll have a few more deodorizers along the way here, actually. Uh, polluted water goes up, the odor rises, we'll clean it up, and then uh, we're gonna have some clean oxygen in the area that's gonna go into our our base. With that being done now, I believe it's uh, it's a good time to call this uh, call this episode an end. Overall, yeah, it's been a very long time since I played this, so please do not expect this to be the most efficient layouts and designs. We're definitely gonna remind ourselves as we as we go along this uh this this series and i'm always happy to hear your suggestions and uh, ideas as well for this playthrough so thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next one